Pastor John Kilpatrick has given an urgent prophetic warning to America in 2024. There's a lot to get into with this as yes, we are definitely in the last days. We'll talk about what he had to say. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you as always that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, that's kind of my only option. Hey, I remind you guys as well, if you enjoy and appreciate the work I do here, consider blessing my ministry with a generous donation. There's a couple of ways you could do it. One easy way, just click the super thanks button down below on this video here. That's how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Whatever you can contribute, it helps and adds up. Doesn't matter how small or how big. Or become a premium member of Not By Sight News. Join my Patreon today for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash Not By Sight News. Link in the description. When you guys join the Patreon, you get all the videos before they ever hit my main YT platform. I always take care of the Patreon members first. You'll also get the alerts for all the videos, which does not happen on my main YT channel. It's a big reason the videos don't get many views is that nobody knows I'm posting consistent content. Also, you get to comment censorship free on all videos and even send me DMs. So check it out again. Patreon.com slash not by site news link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So Pastor John Kilpatrick gave a very powerful prophetic word for America going into 2024 and really beyond. And one thing that was really highlighted here during this message was blatant rebellion. And when you take a look at that word blatant, okay, what does it mean? It means on purpose, right? So this is not just individuals who are rebelling or sinning against God because they don't know any better. No, they know exactly what it is that they are doing. And might I add that many so-called Christians fall into this category too who have embraced sin, made excuses for it. And this is happening in, in multiple denominations. It cannot just be pinpointed to just one. We have seen this now, this rise of the apostate church in multiple. Sometimes it really, you can look at it as almost all denominations have some form of this now. Pastor Kilpatrick highlighted this in his sermon. And he talked about how the earth reacts based upon our sins, what we do. The more we sin, the more the earth is going to grow. The Bible talks about this, right? This is the, the birth pangs of the return of the Lord. The earth is crying out. Why? Because it is being defiled by sin. Kilpatrick highlighted this. And he says, now more than ever, you take a look at the condition of the world and look at especially America, we now have accepted in our society lifestyles that God is clearly warning us to repent from. But instead of repenting, all we're doing is turning even more towards it. There were four specific sins that Pastor Kilpatrick wanted to highlight here in this prophetic word. Because this has exactly what to do with what we're seeing in the land today. The first one, these are all problems that are currently plaguing America. The first was idolatry, the worshiping of other gods. Baal anyone, right? I mean, we have seen images of Baal that have been put up in cities like New York and many others. A false god that people want to put up and admire, or even, yes, worship in some cases. Moving on to number two was immorality. This is a big one because this has really affected America in a negative way. And let's go all the way back to 2015 when we remember when the Supreme Court had went ahead and said that LGBT marriage was something that was now accepted in the land. That caused a major shift in the land because when America had recognized for so long God's definition of marriage, and what did they do? They completely undid that. And they went ahead and instituted immorality in the land. We know how serious God takes marriage. 
Moving on to number three, the shedding of innocent blood. Now, some would say that the reversal of Roe might have been a sign of repentance. However, however, what have we seen since then? With the power in, in the state's hands, what have they done? They've now started to make their own legislation and they've gone even more hardcore on this than what was previously allowed, right? All the, all the blue states out there, right? Judgment will be coming to these states. The earth will react. The earth will respond to the sin of the shedding of the innocent blood. And finally, at number four, Pastor Kilpatrick highlighted this, broken covenants. Not one that many people would, would actually think would be, you know, causing the earth to groan and, and, and to react with earthquakes and, and, and volcanoes and all these other, you know, major weather events. But it does. Broken covenants, Pastor Kilpatrick highlighted, with God and with one another. All the way down to your commitments. Breaking those covenants affects the land the same exact way that the above-mentioned three sins that I talked about do. But he wanted to end with this. This can change, but it is up to the individual. It is up to America if they want to truly have healing, to truly have their land returned to prominence once more. By a genuine repentance, which is a, I always talk about this on my videos, a turning from sin. Asking God for mercy. If America can do that, then it may in fact have a chance. But if it can't, we know the consequence, the impending judgment that will come upon the land. And for so long now, we have really seen America, you know, by, by, by and large, avoid major disasters. Have there been some? Yes, but we're talking, you know, have we seen, we haven't seen any major earthquakes. We're talking in the sevens, the eights, nothing like that. We haven't seen that, right? We haven't seen the Yellowstone volcano erupt. I mean, when these, and it will happen. We don't know exactly what, but at some point when that does happen, the, the ruin that it will leave America in, you know, even with tsunamis, if a tsunami were to strike the West Coast or the East Coast, the devastation and ruin that it would leave in its wake. America could very well be completely wiped out and annihilated solely by natural disasters, not even war. So Pastor Kilpatrick wanted this word to go out because yes, we are getting close to the very end. And for those that would like to watch the whole message, I will put a link for you in the description down below. And you can check that out there. I also welcome your thoughts on this. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about, of course, the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we're in the last days. Really the final hours. Christ is coming soon. But for anybody watching right now, if you're somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer that you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior, when you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. 
patreon.com slash news link in the description, or just hit that super thanks button down below on this video here, where you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.